my dear students yet another academic year has begun as you start a new year i am sure you are filled with joy enthusiasm energy aspirations and dreams dreams to be realized during this academic year and dreams for your future life therefore you have short term dreams and long term dreams dreams to be unfolded during this academic year and dreams to be realized in your future life and in this context let me make some reflections for you first of all let me clarify what education is instead of saying what education is let me tell you what education is not and then let me come to the question what education is what is not education education is not merely attending classes and amassing information education is not merely gathering notes and reproducing them in your exams education is not merely writing exams and obtaining ranks and certificates education is not listening merely to the lectures and memorizing poems and lessons and answers at the most you can call it literacy and not education and therefore what is education education is critical thinking and obtaining analytical tools education is creatively responding to life issues education is experimenting and challenging yesterday's answers education is expanding horizons and developing an internalized value system education is building relationships and forging friendships education is questioning and clarifying education is enjoying fun and developing a sense of humor in life education is forming character and transforming society education is developing and interiorizing a value system education is becoming what one essentially is education is something to do with information formation and transformation and therefore what would be the outcome of this holistic education the outcome of this holistic education is a student becomes academically competent emotionally balanced ethically upright intellectually critical and creative physically fit spiritually deep artistically accomplished morally strong and socially committed and therefore they become men and women as agents of social change men and women who are at the service of the least the lost and the last and that is the outcome of education some years ago i read a very delightful story and i would like to tell you the story in today the story is about a dog in a village there was a dog which early in the morning saw a rabbit seeing the dog the rabbit began to run to escape from death and the dog would not stop it the dog began chasing the rabbit and seeing one dog running after the rabbit there were two three others on the way they also joined the race and after some time a few more dogs joined and then a few more finally there was almost a military that was running after one single rabbit they ran and ran nearly 2 3 kilometers they ran and after some time the last ones who joined the race felt very tired they drop out from the race and seeing this a few more dropped out and a few more and a few more finally there remained only one dog it kept on running with the same speed same enthusiasm same energy kept on chasing the rabbit my question is why did these dogs drop out of the race very simple reason my dear friends because they did not see the rabbit 
It is the first dog which saw the rabbit kept on running and all the other dogs joined later, joined because they saw the dog running and not because they saw the rabbit. And in your life, if you have not seen a rabbit, if you have not seen a clear vision, if you have no clear goal and objectives for your life, if you are not driven by dreams, then probably, very sadly, you will drop out of the race. And therefore, what is very important is, as a philosopher says, if you have a why to live for, you will find anyhow. If you have a why in your life, I am sure you will keep on running. And those who do not have a clear why for their life will not find how to live it. I must tell you, there is a second part to this story. And the second part is this. What happened to that rabbit and the dog? Finally, the rabbit got into the forest. And the dog would not stop it. It kept on running after the rabbit. The rabbit saw a huge bush, a thorny bush and got into the bush. Of course, the dog could not get in because there are huge thorns that hindered him from entering the bush. The dog kept on running around the bush, finally got tired. It was evening and the dog said, I must go back. Now I will not get this rabbit. So he turned and went back home. There were so many citizens in the forest, other animals. They were watching this rabbit from morning till evening running away from the dog. And they came and they wanted to honor it. So they called a press conference. Press people gathered there. And there were many others came with garlands and shawls only to honor the rabbit. As they were honoring the rabbit, the press people asked questions to this rabbit. Some of the questions are something like this. One asked, who taught you the race? And somebody else asked, how many hours of practice do you do every day? Somebody else asked another question, who is your physical director who taught you how to run? Somebody else said, what is your diet? How do you get this energy from? Finally, there was one press reporter who asked a very sharp question. He said, why did these dogs drop out of the race and what motivated you to persevere in your race? And to this question, the rabbit said, the dogs dropped out because they ran for flesh. I ran for my life. My dear friends, if you have goals merely to satisfy you physically and maybe emotionally, probably you will drop out of your race. If you have a goal beyond yourself, which would transcend yourself, you will not stop the race, you will persevere. If you run for merely living, you will drop out. If you run for life, you will persevere, you will achieve your goals. And therefore, it is not enough to have a dream, but it is also necessary that you persevere in your effort. Not enough to have a clear goal. You need to run after it, chase it until you have achieved it. Therefore, there is no substitute for hard work. There is no substitute for focused life. That's why it is said often, success comes before work only in the English dictionary. You will not have success in your life if you have not worked hard. First comes work, then comes success. I am reminded of that beautiful poem that I learnt in fifth standard. We had to memorize a poem in English, which went something like this, work while you work, play while you play. That is the way to be happy and gay. Work while you work, when you are working, work and work wholeheartedly. When you are studying, study, study wholeheartedly. When you eat, eat, eat being fully present there. And when you associate with your friends, associate with them, giving yourself fully to those friends. But yet, make sure 
that you are objective in life is in consonant with your objectives for this year. God bless you.